new sex medicine from the sky. North Carolinians will soon be able to have their prescriptions delivered. Today, a pharmaceutical company announced a partnership that would bring medicine right to your door. A collaboration between two contrasting industries. RX Management announced a collaboration with Zipline International, a drone delivery company. In 2020, the company expanded its footprint in North Carolina by building a Zipline hub in Kannapolis. She's all ready to go. Flight aware. Okay, so we do have some pattern work right here. This guy's 300 feet. And I'm really looking for helicopters. Yeah, there's one, but no sign he's coming this way. I've got six liters tonight. That's enough for me to fly about an hour and a half. Deer. So you have all these perceptions about a motor or a setup before you get it, and some of them are fading away quite quickly. I thought this uh, motor would be louder. It's actually it sounds pretty good. I thought there would be more vibration, but it's quite comfortable. I wondered if the power might feel overwhelming at times, but it really doesn't. So, I mean, this is uh, flight number five on this motor. It'll continue to evolve over time. See these green circles and semi-circles in the grass here? I looked it up today because I've been noticing it at my farm as well. And they call it something like uh, fairy circles or something like that. It's basically a fungus. Uh, and so where it decays, it actually is providing nitrogen back into the ground. And you typically see it in the spring and the fall. But look how nice and green it is over here. They have a cover crop. Oh man, look how beautiful. It's just incredible. And before you know it, we'll start getting some leaves on these trees. So my friend Ken sent me an article about a company called Zipline International that's doing drone deliveries here in North Carolina. Now they were, they were primarily operating in Africa and delivering drugs to people who need it. These drones began operating here under some kind of a temporary order with the FAA. And they were running COVID drugs from one hospital system to another near Kannapolis, North Carolina, which is, I guess, 25 miles north of here. And they're seeking approval to do additional deliveries. They can deliver up to four pounds up to 50 miles away and they fly 60 miles an hour they actually look less like the drones that you and i think of with a like a helicopter with four propellers and they look more like an airplane they, they are launched with like a slingshot type of thing what i was reading about them they typically fly between three and four hundred feet off the ground and that's good for me to know if they do start operating right here in this area, I gotta consider that when I'm flying. Because if I saw a 10 foot wide drone going 60 miles an hour, I don't know if I'd be able to pick it up with enough time to stay out of its way. And I don't know if it's smart enough to avoid me. So I did a little bit of research and then I reached out to the company with an email asking if I can identify the drones in the air with uh, ADSB out technology. 
and actually received a response and opened a line of communication with the company. They indicated that today I cannot see them with ADSB out, but they did share quite a bit of information about their operations, including the time of day that they operate, the current location, and where they seek to operate in the future. The information was quite helpful because I confirmed that they do not operate in my area today, and they are limited to operations between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., which takes my evening flight out of scope. I'll keep you guys posted as I learn more. I just want to see if I get these leg straps tighter, if I could get a little bit more weight shift authority. I feel like I had a little bit more authority in my last motor, but I know that can't be true because you have like world champion slalom guys flying this path. So I think there's a technique that I'm not familiar with and uh, just one of the many things that I gotta practice. So now I'm getting close to where Goose Creek Airport does their uh, instruction and pattern work. I gotta really keep my head on a swivel here. That's why I actually like flying low, because I know I'm even below their pattern. We always think about this framework of risk and reward, whether it comes to paramotors or other forms of aviation or anything in life. There's another framework that comes even before that. And it's this scale between confidence and humility. We have to be confident in order to fly these things. You have to be confident in your skills, knowledge of airspace, weather, mechanics. But we also have to be humble. The second framework has more to do with your attitude and your mindset. Am I humble enough to admit that I could make a mistake? There could be pilot error, there could be mechanical problems. Am I prepared for those items that are outside of my control or otherwise unforeseen? You need confidence, you need humility, and if you can balance those things, you can go on to have a long and safe paramotor career, which I hope everybody does. I feel like I was gonna gift that. Man, that was beautiful. I want to say thank you to everybody who supports this channel by just stopping by to check out the video. Hope everybody has some great weather coming up this week and some safe flights. Hope to see you all at a fly in this year.